Um, Howdy, guys. Happy May the 4th. May the 4th or 4th be with you. And also with you, Bianca. Oh, thank you. I am one with the 4th, and the 4th is with me. So, today is May the 4th. It is the date May the 4th, which also sounds like May the 4th. Like Star Wars? Like Star Wars. Like, like a Star Wars. <laughs> so, it is Star Wars Day today. ThinkGeek.com is celebrating in full force, in full capital F, force. Uh, um, don't let her do this to me, guys. Please, <laughs> you're my only hope. <laughs> oh, no, you did it, too. I see what you've done there. Um, so we are celebrating all day today with plenty of awesome Star Wars deals and $4 shipping on any uh, Star Wars order. U.S. standard shipping. It's really exciting. So just pile up your cart pile it all with whatever there. you want. And then also put a Star Wars item in there and mm -hmm. $4 shipping for uh, U.S. standard shipping. Yep. So if you'd like to take advantage of $4 U.S. standard shipping, just use code 4 as in the number... Four, as in F O F O R, <laughs> May four, and then the number again. It's a little confusing. Don't worry. It's all over the website. You can find yeah. it there. Um, it's just, you know, it's a very exciting day. Um, it is. And then this weekend is Revenge of the Fifth or Revenge of the Sixth. I never remember which one we are committed to. I personally think just do them both. But. Okay. <laughs> I've taken a hard stance to this. It's Revenge of the Fifth. Okay. Um, and that is because when I first started working here, I was like, which one is it? I don't know. And nobody could answer me. And I looked up the Google Trends, and it's Revenge of the Fifth is what people search for more. Okay. So now and then you know. Return of the Sixth. Uh -huh. And then May the Episode Seven. Seventh, The Force Awakens, be with you. The Fourth Awakens again. <laughs> On the Seventh. On the Seventh. <laughs> and, it's a little confusing. We'll get and it then down. May the Last Eighth. The Last Jedi Eighth. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to keep going. Star Wars Month. Done. Do Love think, it. Do you think we can get enough movies that we get a Star Wars Month? Star Wars Month. Look, <laughs> I would celebrate Star Wars for a whole month. There's certainly enough content there that we could, like, fill each day with something awesome. There's Star Wars. so much Star Wars. Everyone's saying the fifth. I'm seeing you guys. Thank Th you. It thumbs is up. The fifth. Thumbs up for the fifth. Um, crying face for the sixth, I yes. guess. Just let us know. <laughs> so watch out for any pesky Sith tomorrow on the fifth. The rhyme is just better. Sith, fifth. Yeah, but the, I don't know, I guess it's the it's alliteration. Not hard to S, the yeah. alliteration's fun. Yes. Um, let us know in the comments how you're celebrating Star Wars Day. Um, lots of people are doing movie marathons. People are dressing up. Some people are buying awesome things from our website so they can dress up next week. Yes. Uh, or say at the end of the month for the solo premiere. Ooh. I'm going to wear that jacket we have on the site, mm -hmm. the um, Han Solo. That one's really, really nice. Replica jacket. I'm going to wear the Lando cape, and we're going to match. Yes, And then well, we're going to watch Star Wars, and yeah. that's going to be it. Um, there are other things. That's not true. That Can't have happened. possibly be true. In the geek world this week. I feel like you're lying to me. Other than Star Wars, <laughs> and we're going to talk about them now. Okay. Um, first. Do you want to talk about what we're giving away today? We should probably talk about that. That's a good point. It is still Star Wars related. Before we jump off that um, hyperspace train. Ah, uh, good. They have trains in space. So I'm going to show you real quick. We're giving away to uh, two of these sets of Funko Pop Star Wars fighting droid vinyl figures. Ooh. And then, but um, surprise, Ta Bianca has them. Uh, yes, so two lucky winners will receive this set of droids, so technically you get two. So that's a real value, because you also you get it for free if you win. So And they're fighty droids, which apparently means droids. they fight. I don't know. We haven't seen Solo yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm assuming they fight. Here's the thing. They're battle bots? Are they battle bots? They are. Okay, so. um, they do have, like, little weapons. One has a saw on it, while the other one has, like... Uh, a mall and you know, say a change. I'm just go, gonna go ahead and put my money on saw robot because I feel like that one's gonna win. I think he's got a saw blade. They're gonna realize they should be friends instead, and then we're gonna have a whole adventure, a side quest. Well, they're perfect, and we're giving them away. There should be a link in the comments or the description of the video, depending on where you're watching. If you are watching us right now from your mobile device, what? Um, a phone. <laughs> 
don't worry. We are aware that you can't, oh, you're on the phone right now. Uh, we are aware that you can't click the link directly. What you're going to have to do is copy the link and paste it into your browser and then it will work, we promise. For some reason, Facebook particularly does not <laughs> like you to click away from our faces, which, look, I understand, because we're perfect. Ding! But I wish I had a sound effect board here. <laughs> well, now we know. Now we know what the thumbnail for this video is going to be. It's whatever this, that. Was. If we can just hold it for forever, maybe <laughs> we can use it as our thumbnail. <laughs> um, Facebook, for whatever reason, doesn't really like clicking away from uh, live videos, so you are going to have to copy paste that link into your browser. But don't worry, or it just works. Type it in. There is a very Star Wars related question that I'm very interested to hear everyone's answer about because I have very strong feelings. Well, maybe we can look at that at the end. We'll look at that at the answers. end. Um, so it's you can just type it in bit.ly slash tgtw5418. That's the date. May the fourth be with you. Beow, 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 beow. Beow, beow. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way. All right. No, no more Star Wars ever again. Just That's kidding. That's such a lie. There's going to be so much more Star I'm Wars. wearing the striped shirt here. <laughs> but let's talk about some things that happened this week that aren't necessarily Star Wars. And Fine, if we have to. Look, if we're going to jump from Star Wars, the, the next <laughs> obvious hop over would be to superheroes. Like, in the pop culture, like, hierarchy, that one is just one over. So let's talk a little bit about Ant-Man and the Wasp that I released a new to. official trailer. I know I'm being funny that I don't want to talk about anything other than Star Wars, except that I love these two. Look at them. I'm so excited. I'm so ex ready to see Wasp in action. She looked so badass Bamf. in the trailer. I mean, I'm also excited for more Paul Rudd. I love that guy's portrayal of Ant-Man. The first Ant-Man's great. Very, very funny. Um... I'm really excited to see what happens. This one's supposed to take um, take place immediately after Civil War, mm -hmm. where we see um, Ant-Man, who was on, of course, the correct team, Team Cap. Um, <laughs> he Agree is, to disagree, my friend. <laughs> he is dealing with the fallout uh, from all those decisions that happened in Civil War, and we're sort of seeing how he's coming to terms with being a hero uh, in that post, not post-hero world, but in that divided hero world. Exactly. And then we also saw a new villain sort of take a more front and center role during this trailer. She looked really cool. She's like a ninja that has like phasing. It yes. looks like she can phase through solid objects, which was really cool and made for some really good fights, it looks like. Also, the costume design's amazing. Um, I kept thinking like she reminds me of like a Mass Effect character. Mm -hmm, she does. She, she has looks that, like that mask. Like a Tolly mask. Mm -hmm. um, or, and then sort of like a little bit of, uh, what's her name? I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. And then immediately, Kasumi. Yeah. yeah, so a little bit of Kasumi, like the, the super spy who's like invisible. So I thought that was kind of cool. She looks really cool. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm not hating on Ant-Man and the Wasp. Their outfits are great. But I've got to say, she is way more stylish. Badass lady villain. <laughs> um, so that's going to be awesome. I'm really, really excited to see this. Um, it's just... I like Marvel movies that have started to move more in like the humorous direction, and Paul Rudd pulls it off perfectly. So that's going to be really funny. I'm yeah. I'm really excited. Um, I've seen a couple people just saying the contest is U.S. only right now. It is just because of all those new GDPR. There's a lot of like European privacy regulations, Correct. and so we're just trying to until we figure all that out. Just do the one that is the least likely to get us all in trouble with the law. It's true. Um, <laughs> contests and sweepstakes law vary wildly between international it's countries. It's insane, yeah. Uh, so, unfortunately, because our lawyer monkeys are like, we don't want you to go to jail. I don't either, really. I also don't want to go to jail, but they're like, also, we don't want everyone to go to jail. Um, they say <laughs> that we have to limit our contest to the U.S. for now. We're working on it. We hear you. We understand. Yeah. Um, we'll keep pushing those buttons. We're Yeah, we're going to keep trying. We want to try and send free stuff to all of you. Exactly. We're just also trying not to go to jail. I don't think I'd survive. I don't think I'd be like Ant-Man and just, like, get out immediately and wear a bracer and just, like, hang out with my daughter. Here's the thing. <laughs> and fight crime. I did finish a way out, so now I know how to break out of prison, so <laughs> just, I think I'll be fine. I'll just break out with my plucky friend, that, and that's all I need. I need one plucky friend, and that's it. And then we just escape. 
So um, that's why we can't offer it outside of the U.S. And thank you for understanding and for your patience. And good luck to those of you who could enter. Don't forget to enter. It's in the comments in the description. And one last thing about Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, it seems like Michael Pena has a better a bigger role. Not that you can get better than how funny he was in the first one. Um, and I'm just excited for that in general. Yeah, he he's was, ready for he, more of him. <laughs> he was in the trailer quite a bit, so I think he'll end up being yeah being a large role there all right one more thing scholarships for fortnite players what okay so now are you going back to college now <laughs> now i think it's time for me to go back and get another bachelor's mm -hmm, degree mm -hmm. no not even for this really awesome scholarship would i go back for another bachelor's <laughs> degree right now um a uh, university in Ohio, Ashland University, is the first uh, collegiate university to offer Fortnite scholarships for esports athletes. Yeah. Um, and this is really interesting because so far, Fortnite doesn't have uh, like an official um, tournament or league that's based out of like Epic Games the way that League of Legends and Overwatch League have. Uh, so this seems like a. Um, Almost like they're expecting it, even though it hasn't happened. This is like a yeah. power play. They're like, we're getting out ahead of this moving train. Um, Fortnite has been such a cultural like zeitgeist moment. It's been the most played game on Twitch for the past month. Yeah. It's been breaking records for the amounts of viewers. Drake loves it. Drake loves <laughs> it. Lots of celebrities, lots of athletes are really getting on this hype train for Fortnite. And I understand why, because Fortnite is really really fun and it's the kind of game that continues to change and evolve so a scholarship program where students are not only in college you know academically taking like biochem and right, all yeah. of their normal classes but then after school going to like fortnite practice and they have coaches to um sort of lead them through this constantly changing meta because the way that fortnite is right now it's changing every week. Every week they have new items, they have new ways to play. So I think the scholarship program is really cool. Yeah. Uh, and I'm see excited to see it evolve. Like, I'm exactly. in general excited to see esports evolve because, mm -hmm. like, um, I'm like a semi-interested sports fan. I grew up in literally a town that had a stadium in it yes. um, for a football team and like... A football team. A football team. What Ooh, football team I can't tell you about it. Um, <laughs> but um, so sort of by definition, I sort of have to have a passing interest mm -hmm. um, in sports, but I'm really excited about esports because like I play those games too. Mm -hmm. And I think it's it's weird to think like I mean I played soccer when I was a kid but I don't follow follow the soccer leagues because I'm like meh <laughs> I'm like I'm not playing it now right. um, but I still play video games and so it's cool to see you know I can get a play of the game in Overwatch but it's better to see people who can get that consistently and who are much better than I am that something to aspire to <laughs> and though Ashland University is the first university to offer a Fortnite scholarship there are plenty of universities 66 in fact that are part of the National Association of Collegiate Esports uh, that are offering scholarships and programs for a ton of other esports games League of Legends Overwatch CSGO Rocket League just to name a few so Rocket League. <laughs> Fortnite is just the next obvious step in what appears to be a trend towards esports becoming really mainstream, which I love because I watch esports yeah. all the time, almost every day. And I love because I watched Video Game High School and I said, that seems like a utopia. <laughs> well, I didn't watch that show and I still refuse to. Aaron keeps it's like so whittling down good. my will. It's so good. Eventually I will it's... crumble and just watch it. Guys, if you like Video Game High School, send hearts in the comments here. I am I love Video Game High School. It's very good. And that's the future that I want. So, that uh was everything about the Fortnite scholarship that we know yet, but I expect a lot of colleges will be following suit. Um also, I'm seeing some people in the comments asking about the uh, contest. Don't forget, it is there in the comments or the description. Just click that link or copy paste it into your browser. You can enter there and you will be winning these fighting droid boys and pew, pew, possible pew, pew. girls. We're not sure because we haven't seen Sully yet. Um, so you will win. Gender neutral droids. Two people will win um, a set of these. So it's pretty good prize for thank May you the tony 4th. thank you tony vghs is very good <laughs> wonderful um nikki says there needs to be a warcraft university would you go back to school for that one? yes yeah okay 
Um, yes. In other video game news, as we move away, mm-hmm. um, we got this week the third trailer for the Red Dead Redemption 2 game, which I am so psyched for. I loved the first one. Have you played the first one? So it's on the top of my list of like old games that somehow <laughs> I missed the first time around that I really need to play. Because from what I understand, it's like open world, western action yes. RPG kind of thing. Yeah. Which is... Like right up my alley. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how I missed this because I love westerns. Yes, like a lot. I would marry Kevin Costner if I could. That's my secret shame. <laughs> and or not shame. I mean, own I'm it. Proud. Just own it. I I'm guess. Proud. Um, and I love open world RPGs. I love video games, and this is a really good one. So obviously, I need to play it. So I did watch the second trailer. And I'm just going to interject with thoughts that I have that I stole from the internet. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to tell you about my actual human thoughts from someone who played the first game and loved it. Um, I really enjoyed being, not just because his name is James Marston. (laughs) Marston. Marston. Yeah. Different. Um, No, I really enjoyed being James Marston. Marston. I I immediately did it wrong. Freudian slip. Um, And he sort of plays the reluctant hero, right? He's got, like, a shady past, but he's trying to put it behind him. And everyone's like, will you help me? And then he's like, like, yeah. Just like every Western. Yeah. So just every Western. And also James Marsden's character in Westworld. In Westworld, yeah. Just so Um, we're clear. But this time you play, so it's a prequel. It takes place before Red Dead Redemption, which is weird because it's the second one. Um, So it's a prequel, and you play the outlaw uh, Arthur Morgan. Mm. And so... It seems more clear cut this way that like you're gonna be sort of on the wrong side of the law. Not that going black hat. Yeah, a little going black hat, a little Westworld there. Mm-hmm. So, do you meet Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption, the original game? No, okay. but it seemed. I mean, not to my, not that I remember in okay. any way. I, I'm gonna say no. But I just correct me know, if I'm wrong, please. I didn't know if maybe he was the original villain. No. Okay. Just the work. That was it. sort of just like. Everyone the world. You, you came across. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was bad. The West is bad. Okay. That's where we are. <laughs> um, After watching the trailer, what I've learned is, um, unfortunately, Westworld does not exist yet. Uh, but for now, there's this. Yes. I guess that's close enough. You can yes. make whatever decisions you sort of want. It's like, I mean, it's like a Western Grand Theft Auto, right? Yeah. So you just ride around on your horse, trying not to get him wet so he doesn't dissolve into water. Uh, <laughs> please don't... <laughs> Please don't step in a puddle. Please don't step in a puddle. Will horses still dissolve in water? Why won't they answer the real questions, Rockstar Games? Please fix your horse mechanics. I love them. I get too attached. What I know about Red Dead Redemption 2 and what I know from playing, like, The Witcher and Skyrim is just um, these games are about taking your horses places that horses shouldn't go. That's how I played them. Yeah. It's just take your horse into this bar. Can he get up on a mountain? How sideways can this horse get? Yeah, exactly. And it turns out very sideways. Very sideways. <laughs> uh, Mike's saying uh, he's not in part one. Okay, so I wasn't okay, crazy. Good. I didn't remember seeing him, but yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, so we also have a release date, October 26th of this year, which, I mean, I know it's not that soon, but it feels like it feels I'm going to be playing it tomorrow, basically. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I saw there was some sort of like really awesome badass lady character. She's like, maybe she's a cowboy something. Maybe she's bad. We're not sure. We don't really know she's how bad. anyone yeah. is. Are they good? Are they bad? It's hard to tell. Her hat was not black. and She wasn't wearing a hat, was she? She's got, like, a long braid. She looks awesome. In one shot, she did. And she had this, like, really awesome bandana. And I was like, I like this whole look that's going on. Yes. (laughs) Yes, please. Thank you. More of that. So I I know that we said we weren't going to talk about Star Wars ever again. But the thing is, it's May the 4th. And and we have to. We have to talk about uh, the Star Wars news that has happened today and over the course of this past week. And the first and most important thing is solo tickets are on sale right now. Buy your solo ticket. I haven't yet because today's been a busy day. Mm -hmm. As you can imagine, everyone here is just running around um, lightsaber battles. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's been a few missing hands, but we've got our our robotics. We'll find them and like sew them back on. No, we got the robotics monkey building everyone new ones. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. if you're just joining, may, may the fourth be with you. Porgs <laughs> everywhere. Let oh, me God. tell you. They're just... Look, we love them. Hearing it all day. Just 
All day. I love them. I love them. They're friends. They're not food. However, boy, do I wish they would stop making that noise at all times. Just nonsense. Constantly. Non-stop. Um, we're joined also with our uh, our Timmy co-hosts, of course. Um, Chewbacca Timmy. Oh, he's got C-3PO in his little backpack. Isn't he perfect? I, I actually love never, his little arm. It's I love her, never noticed. Um, Chewbacca Timmy. I dropped C-3PO like a monster. And then, of course, Han Solo Timmy for the solo premiere. Now, he is dressed as... Uh, Han is in the original series, which just means that we need one of our really helpful and awesome fans to please make a uh, Han Solo from Solo, yes. the Star Wars story, and a Lando Calrissian Timmy. I need Timmy in a cape more than I've ever needed anything in my whole life. Lando Timmy. <laughs> Lando Timmy. Donald Glover. Or Pork Lando Timmy, Timmy, please. Oh, more Pork. pork. Timmy. More Porks. Um, so... As we were saying, lots of running around, lots of definitely not goofing off 100% business all the time here on Star Wars Day at Think Geek HQ. Serious. But Star Wars things have happened today. Yes. Solo movie tickets are on we sale. We said that one. Yep. Um, two. Now, I gotta bring it back real quick. You gotta bring it right on in. Two, um, Star Wars has been recently re-releasing a lot of their like classic video games, mm-hmm. and today... They did launch my favorite Star Wars game in the whole world. Star Wars Episode One Racer. <laughs> it feels like you have a lot of passionate feelings about this. Talk to me about where that comes from. Um, it was the first game that I owned on the N64. Perfect. Which, uh, while not my first gaming console, is the one that sort of like formed my childhood. Sure. Uh, my sisters and I would just play nonstop uh, N64 all the time. Multiplayer games were the best. And although this one only had two players at a time, um, it is an amazing game. It taught you how to share. It taught us how to share. Right? Or We'd sometimes fighting in. over over sharing. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I love the game. I mean... I'm not sure how it's going to hold up, but as soon as I read that, that they were like, oh, we're re- re-releasing it for PC, I was like, done. Done. Yeah, I think it's on sale this weekend as well. Yes. I'm downloading it, and I'm going to play it this weekend, because I'm very excited. I actually have my N64 at my house now, but um, I I don't know uh, if it still works. I haven't plugged it in a while. You need to plug it in? Yeah. Get it going this weekend? Compare? Yes, contrast. I need to compare and contrast. I think I lost all my save data at some point. Start from the beginning. Start yeah. fresh. This is a new adventure. It's a new adventure in pod racing. One of the best things to happen in the prequels. Now. <laughs> That's true. Jar Jar Binks. Also, one of the best things to happen in the prequels. Welcome to my TED Talk. No. I know. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm going to cut you off there. <laughs> and we're going to talk about uh, Free Comic Book Day. That is uh, on the 5th, so it's that's tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. And one of the comics that's being given away is a new Han Solo story called Hunter vs. Hunted. So that's one, Free Comic Book Day, which is a majorly geeky yeah. holiday in and of itself, and Star Wars coming together into this beautiful package that I love. Um, <laughs> so make sure that you get out there and support your local comic book store. Um There's lots of celebrations. I'm sure if you just go on Google and say, like, free comic book day and then type in your zip code, you'll be able to find plenty of awesome events that are going around near you. It's going to be a fun day. I highly recommend getting out there. Plus, free comics. Yes, absolutely. I I definitely go in, pick up some of the free comic books. I mean, uh, local local comic book stores want you to be in there. But also check out some stuff that you wouldn't normally have have taken a look at. I recommend always Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. But uh, there's tons of Star Wars comics that are out. Mm -hmm. Um, If you don't like that, there's basically every sci-fi franchise has a comic book adaptation that moves into it. Um... There's a lot of... Saga is very good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Our third co-host, who is occasionally here, Jeff, is a big Saga fan. So go in there, ask them, ask your staff for recommendations. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to, like, hear what you're interested in and give you uh, some comic books to try out. We recommend uh, going out there and seeing what's out there. So obviously our Slurp of the Week is going to be free comic book day tomorrow, obviously. Yes. But that hasn't happened yet. Mm-mm. So, Aaron, how about we go over our slurps so far this week? Yay! Yay! Every time. We're like, is it now? No, it okay. is now. <laughs> um, all right, Aaron, what is your slurp of the week? My slurp of the week is something that came out yesterday. Okay. Com- took me completely by surprise. Celine Dion has a new yes. song called yes. Ashes. 
Okay. And it's very, very good, very emotional. Mm -hmm. um, and she released the music video for it yesterday. And See, I, I just, I didn't picture you as a Celine Dion fan. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure why. So what made you love this song? Well, first of all, I genuinely <laughs> just love Celine Dion. I don't know why you're... Uh... I, I just associate Celine Dion with, like... Christmas music from my mm, youth. Mm -hmm. And French horns for some reason. My question is, do you also associate her with Deadpool? Well, now I do. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah. Now I do. Now you do. Obviously, this is a perfect choice. Yes. Um, a great Canadian mashup. Some Ryan Reynolds <laughs> and some Celine Dion. I didn't ever, I didn't put those two together in yes. that way before. Mm -hmm. My nationality. And it's true. The two biggest stars to come out of Canada, Celine Dion, Ryan Reynolds. Absolutely. Together at last. Well, it, so it seems like Ashes is a song from the Deadpool 2 soundtrack. And so in her music video, there's a lot of passion as she's performing on the stage. And then we do get a beautiful... Deadpool interpretive dance while he's in these giant heels um, doing some things that I didn't think human bodies could do. Um, and then some snarky commentary from from Deadpool himself. It's an amazing music video. The song's great, genuinely. The song is amazing, but also just like the mashup of Celine Dion and Deadpool is it's unreal. Bullshit. It's unreal. I think this is going to be set to eclipse... Um, my Heart Will Go On as the best Celine Dion song of all time. Don't at me on that. <laughs> Do me. at us. Um, who, yes, Ryan is saying the marketing for Deadpool 2 is insane. We agree. Peter, yes. having his secret Twitter. Love uh, it. The, Perfect. He's yes. just a dad that likes to grill yeah. on his deck. There's something so refreshing. I mean, I know it's marketing, and I know they're getting us, and they're doing it a good job of it. But, like, there's something so refreshing about, like, knowing what a character is all about and just leaning into it. Because it's easy to just, like, be a big studio and think you know what you want to get your character to appeal to the masses. And then there's a, the other thing of, like, this is who Deadpool is. Let's get ridiculous. Exactly. Yeah. Um, also, there's nothing wrong with enjoying marketing. <laughs> Good marketing is fun. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to entice you. And if it does that, that's okay. Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to like marketing. It's fine. That was it. That's my whole That's time. <laughs> there was one slide and it said, yeah. it's fine. We'll do a spreadsheet <laughs> presentation later. We're still working on the presentation. All right. My slurp of the week. What is your slurp of the week? Because um, you didn't tell me ahead of time. I don't have a graphic for you. That's fine. That's all right. I did uh, just type it in about five minutes before we started. It took me uh, a little bit to figure out what it was going to be because okay. so many awesome things happened this week. But it has been the Near Automata soundtrack. Near Automata is a, okay. it's a game that came out actually like a month or two ago maybe even more than that that I just hadn't had a chance to play through because I was uh, playing some other things Overwatch um, <laughs> but then the Overwatch event ended and I felt this desperate void in my life opening to um, swallow me whole and I said I need to fill that with a video game um, and so I did mm -hmm. it's Nier Automata which was an excellent game with lots of twists and turns and I loved um, being a robot I loved being multiple robots. There was a lot of very unique mechanics going into the storyline of that game that I really loved. But the best thing about it was the soundtrack. And I can't stop listening to it. I listen to it all day while I work. And I just have it on repeat. <laughs> and I think at some point I'll get sick of it. But I have not seen the end of that tunnel yet. I'm still right in the dark just listening to this music. And it's perfect. If you're looking for really good... Um, emotional background music mm -hmm. to listen to. Like, think if you were listening to, like, film scores. If listening to film scores and soundtracks is your thing, I highly recommend checking out Near Automata, the soundtrack. It's very good. Yeah, there are a lot of really good video game mm -hmm. soundtracks. And mm -hmm. then with the sort of resurgence of vinyl being, like, a yes. big collector's thing, there's a lot of great, I like, would buy the heck vinyl. out yeah. of a Near Automata vinyl thing. And then I'd have to buy, buy a vinyl player. Yeah. But it would be worth it, and I'd be very excited. Do it, yeah. That will sound good. Nick will lend you his. Oh, he yeah. does have one. Perfect. Um, so we sort of brushed right past it, but that, those were our Slurps of the Week. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were just tuning in for the first time this week, Slurp of the Week is like the coolest thing uh, that happened that week or the thing you're most excited about that week. Um, and we got a couple other people. We'd love to hear what yours are. We got a couple of people over here. Um, will says... 
uh, my fiance, fiance and I. My fiance. My fiance and I saw Infinity War. Great. Yes. Congratulations. I also saw it after we talked about it last week. Yes. I'll send I you a, a, a tissue. I have a lot of feelings. I know. Here's the we'll thing. talk about it later. DM Once everyone's me. seen it. And it's I'll okay. talk to you about my yeah. feelings. Just add us, private message us. We yeah, got this. private message, because, boy, people are very upset if you spoil that movie. For reasons I completely understand. Uh, Ron said, I built an A-Wing model with my daughters. Hashtag raise them right. Nice. Yes, correct. Happy May the 4th. <laughs> Lots of people Excited about, in. obviously, ashes. Yeah, a lot of people talking about how much they loved Deadpool. Um, Michael says, future slurp Deadpool joins the Avengers MCO. I'm not sure. Well, no. I feel like I read the rejection letter that Tony Stark sent to Deadpool. It was pretty clear cut when he was like, absolutely not under any <laughs> circumstances will this ever happen. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like that one. Maybe don't hang your hat on that one just yet. I don't know. They're different tones, but I would still kind of like to see it. <laughs> oh, I would watch that. Yeah, heck you're out right. Of you're it. right. Um,. We got some people saying the first Mass Effect soundtrack sounds great. Um, God of War's music is gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, David shaved his beard. Congratulations. If you're looking for other, like, um, sort of ambient, not ambient, but, like, soundtracks to games that you can listen to, highly recommend Undertale. It's very, very yes. good music. I mean, it's a very, very good game. Yes. And if you haven't played it, we recommend you play it. I recommend you play it. I'm speaking for Bianca. Child of Light has some good ones, and then you can go old school and listen to, like, old Final Fantasy soundtracks, which is what I like to listen to. I do sometimes cry a little bit because they're very emotional, <laughs> and those games brought me up and raised me, and so I have a lot of, like, connection to them. Yes. But they're very good. Um, in honor of May the 4th, we're going to get to these awesome Star Wars products behind us in, like, a minute. Mm-hmm. But in honor of May the 4th, I thought maybe what we could do is do a little bit of Star Wars trivia. Yeah, just a little bit. With you guys. Okay, hold on. So Erin's going to bring up the questions onto the screen. That's what she's looking at now. Trying but, to find it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> these are questions that we've come up with that are from all parts of the Star Wars universe. Um, so go ahead and write your answers to the questions in the comments. We'll read through them, and after a little bit, we'll reveal the answers. Mm-hmm. I didn't know the answers to some of these questions that required some some digging around on the internet, so hopefully not all of them are immediately Googleable. but you're on the honor system. Don't cheat. The points are made up, and they don't matter. They don't matter, so why cheat? All right, first question. All right. Ba-bow. Toy Story 2 introduced a character in order to parody a character from Star Wars. Name both characters. Is it the snake in his boot? Woody's boot. It's probably not that. It might not be that. One. I mean, if you think about it allegorically, there's a snake in all of our boots, just like it's the impending menace of the Empire. Look, I'm grasping at straws. Yeah, you're here, doing but a there's lot something here. there. <laughs> all right, I'm waiting for things to no, come No, cheating. In. Absolutely. Lots of people talking about how Kingdom Hearts has a good soundtrack. Absolutely a great Undertale. Awesome. Uh, lots of people. Oh, the first answer I see. Is correct. Yay! What's that answer, Bianca? That answer is Darth Vader is the character from Star Wars that was being parodied, and it was parodied by Emperor Zurg. I don't want to say parody, like they didn't make fun of it. It was more like a reference. Um, they transformed it in a way. (laughs) Um, It wasn't a rude parody. No. They were just sort of, um... I mean, now they're both Disney, mm-hmm. but they were just sort of um, teasing the relationship between exactly. uh, Luke and Vader with our hero Buzz and Emperor Zerg. Darth Vader. Lots I mean. of people <laughs> writing it now. I'm guessing. Buzz's dad, yeah. Yes. Lots of people getting it. Good job, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and show the next question. Look, we started out with a softball, so that everybody felt included. There are some tough ones in here, so just you there wait. There aren't at all. No? no, there are. There are. Okay, ready? Here we go. How much distance is covered by one parsec? Parsecs are a measure of distance and not a measure of time. So when you talk about doing something like a Kessel Run in 12 parsecs, it's talking about distance, not time. That's your PSA for the day. Just let people enjoy things. (laughs) There's, listen, they're in space. There's a Wookiee. Get out of here, science. It matters for this (laughs) question. All right. Lots of one person just is, says Bob. 
Yeah, it was Bob. It was Bob the whole time. Um, Disney does know their future. <laughs> they saw it and they just owned it. We're uh, just taking some time for everybody to get their answers in. Make sure you're putting your answers into the comments. One person, no. So far, we got someone kind of, kind of close. Okay, yeah, we're starting to see some we're right starting answers. Starting to see some Will, good answers. Uh, Bridget, we seem good. Uh, William yes. says Wookies and Cookies. So that's wrong. That's but wrong. what's the right also answer? Also, not a measure of distance. The right answer is. 3.26 light years. Okay. Lots of people writing just straight up three light years. Look, we'll give it to you. Round up to the nearest number. You're found. Or round down, down. in this yeah. case. Um, you're fine. Good job. Star Wars Day. Yay. Golf clap. I didn't know what it would sound like in the mic. I don't want to like yes! loud clapping. I already have a loud voice. All right, Aaron. Show us our next question. This is my faves. Which composer worked with J.J. Abrams to write and perform the new Cantina song, Jabba Flow, in The Force Awakens? Uh, I do remember this question that you wrote. It's very good. Hey, Jabba. We are, and we were just talking about soundtracks, so this is perfect. Actually, I have listened to that song after we wrote this question. It's very good and very, like... I was like, yeah. Well, you didn't think that we could top the original Cantina song, so you had to do something a little different and a Mm -hmm. little... A little more flow. <laughs> now I just have the Cantina song stuck in my head. It's just going to yeah, be there all day now. Fair. Which is appropriate for Star Wars Day. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe we weren't already listening to it. We should just pump it through the kitchens. In the kitchens. Yes. <sighs> Bumping that Cantina song. I'm going right? back in time. I'm going back in time and fixing this. All, all right. right. Lots of people. Bieber, Pharrell, not true. It was not John Williams. Mm-hmm. All right. Weird Owl, nope. Nope. Very close. Oh, I saw one answer. Yeah, Ro- I mean, Roger. <laughs> on a very, like, personal basis. Roger's on a first-name <laughs> basis with the correct answer, which is Lin-Manuel Miranda. Yay! Love that boy. I love that guy. Uh, Hamilton's very good. Shrimp Heaven Now, the song, also very good. A magnum opus, really. Yeah. <laughs> Um, In the Heights. That's correct. The uh, storied Hamilton composer Lin-Manuel Miranda worked with... um, J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams. Abrams. J.J. Abrams. I did (laughs) Freudian slip and say that. Mr. J. Abrams. Mr. J. Abrams um, to write the new Job of Flow, which is basically the new Cantina song that was heard in Force Awakens. Yeah. And he did write it in... Uh, Hatties, mm-hmm. which is Jabba's language, um, and it was—it's basically a cover of "Wasn't Me." <laughs> it's basically the shaggy song. It, yeah, it's basically I in Hatties is like, oh, it's like oh, lover, lover, I didn't do it. That's perfect. Yeah, I love. It's like three layers deep. It's a Shaggy song. I love it. Bailey, I'm sorry if I missed your answer. If you also said Lynn, congratulations. Props to you. All right, <laughs> let's do one more trivia One more question. trivia question, mm-hmm. and then we'll talk about fun stuff behind us. Yes. Pew, pew. Are you ready? Ready. What is the official name of one of Saturn's moons nicknamed the Death Star moon because of the large Herschel crater? You thought it was all going to be about Star Wars, and it is, but also science. Science space. Not Coming science. at you from a different angle. Bag <laughs> on them. <laughs> Just a lot today. <laughs> Sometimes there's a lot between us. We've been having a lot of, like, blue milk today, and maybe, maybe it's gone to my head. I can't say. So go ahead and write your answers in the comments. I think this one is actually pretty easily Googleable, but don't I'm Google. trusting you. I don't trust anyone. Bailey, you got it. You got it. I see you. I see you coming in for me here. Mr. J. <laughs> Thank you, Colin. Um, I'm seeing someone say, uh, Timmy. No, that is not a moon of Saturn, but it should be. All right, Bailey's shouting at us. You did get it correct, Bailey. It is... Oh, no, I thought you were reading it. Oh, boy. This was your question. Yep, but here's the thing. Mimus? 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 <laughs> Mimas. Oh, I did. John <laughs> called me out. I did t- to ignore science because we were in Star Wars. I lied. <laughs> Bring back the science. Please tell me how to pronounce the um, name of this moon. Is it Mimas? Mimas. Mimas. <laughs> Mimasas. How many silly ways can we pronounce the name of Saturn's moon? Let us count the ways. Let's not. Jeff will get mad. That's true. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you for playing Star Wars trivia along with us. 
Uh, write your own Star Wars trivia questions in the comments. We'll read them and see if our Star Wars knowledge is up to the task. Mimas. 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 Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> Meme us. Meme us. My memes. All right. Continue on. Meme us. Don't send us memes. Do, actually. But do. Yeah, do. Uh, okay. Mimosa. Correct, Roger. Excellent. All right. So we, in honor of May the 4th, we released a ton of new Star Wars stuff, as well as those deals we were talking about earlier. Porg's been on our site for a mm. while. You're going to press them again. Here it is. It's time for Star Wars. I love him. He makes... Three different sounds, but this is my favorite one. No. So. We have him set to only make the alarm cry, and we press him when it's time for business. It's our business pork. He lets us know when it's time for business, business pork. And it's right now. It's right now. Um, so as you can see behind us, as I readjust here, we've got these two beautiful blazers on top of some of our new Star Wars clothes here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to get you a closer look at those as well. We've got a Boba Fett blazer and a Chewbacca blazer, which I think look phenomenal. Um, I've put together a terrifying looking collage, <laughs> and I apologize, um, but I just wanted you to see some of the details here. Say hi to Jeff. Yes, hello, Jeffrey. Hi, Jeff. So Jeff is currently dressed as sort of like a Boba Fett in disguise. Um, sneaky geeky. Sneaky geeky. And you can see the details on the button and the elbow pads as well as the lining. And it's a beautiful green color. And um, I think it's really great to s show off your fandom subtly. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, like, you would have to know. But also... It's kind of just a nice green blazer. Yeah, I love how deep the green is. I mean, it's that Boba Fett green that we all know and love, but I've never seen it translated into a, a blazer before. Yeah. It looks really sharp, so I really like it. And then I'm a really big fan of the one that's behind Aaron here. This is the Chewbacca blazer, um, which also shares a lot of the same sneaky details that Boba Fett's blazer does, which Aaron is about to put up on the screen so I can talk about them. Bam, bam. There we go. So it's got that really awesome Chewbacca lining. It's got um, elbow pads as well, although these don't have a symbol on them. They're just sort of furry, much like Chewbacca himself. <laughs> it's made out of a really nice, very... I don't want to say heavyweight, but like substantial brown tweed. And then it's got the Rebel Starboard logo right there on the buttons. And I love this lining. The lining is perfect. And then you can sort of see a peak of it there in the bottom picture. But there is a back um, belt, I guess. Uh, it's sort of like a, a decorative detail that is uh, reminiscent of Chewbacca's bandolier. So it's actually right here, Aaron. I know I'm going to fall off my chair as I nope, lean away. you're perfect. So it's right there. <laughs> it's perfect. I really love this jacket. Um, this one, I think, is more um, in your face with the Star Wars. I feel like people are going to recognize it a little more. But, yeah. Hey, wear your geek proudly. Let your geek show. Geek flag fly. Fly it right on high. Um, so both of these blazers are available right now at thinkgeek.com, and they were released today. They're brand new uh, for May the 4th, Star Wars Day. Yeah, as well as if you are ready for more, store, more Star Wars in your life, as I am as well, you might be interested in this new collection for uh, kitchenware that we have here. Mm -hmm. And there's some beautiful photos here that our lovely creative team has taken. Um, that it's got a sort of like a, an abstract look at the Millennium Falcon and some of Lando's designs as well. Um, and we've got like a whole set here. There's a small salad plate. There's mm -hmm. a large dinner plate. There's um, a Han tumbler as well as, or highball glass. Um, tumbler is the wrong word. Mm -hmm. um, highball glass as well as a Lando highball glass. Mm -hmm. And, like, look how classy it is. And, like, you know it's Star Wars. So what uh, is kind of hard to tell here as you're looking at it uh, through the camera is that the accents are in a really nice sort of matte but shiny gold. Uh, and then it's got the arabesque right there on the salad plate with a little... Millennium Falcon. They're just really classy. I feel like Lando has these in his personal <laughs> space pod where he lives. Yes, absolutely. Um, and he just, this is what he uses to entertain all of his guests. And they're, they're just really... Hey, I got another um, nice. close-up image here. They're, the plates are made of porcelain. Mm -hmm. The glass is obviously made of glass. Um, it's got that little wine stopper right there that's like a nice heavy metallic and, and shares that um, sort of Lando detail 
right there. Yes. On the top right here. It's perfect. I really like this. I want to steal it and have it for me. This is just a really classy Star Wars dish set. Uh, and it is available now at ThinkGeek.com. It just came out today uh, in Get celebration of May the 4th. But also... The solo release, which is coming at yeah. the end of the month. So now, if you buy them now, it'll be ready for your solo dinner party that yes. you are now going to be able to host. You know how everyone in the old times used to have, like, china that they would pass yes. down from generation to generation? This is it. That's this. This is this. And I'm just, I'm just throwing this out there. You should get it for your wedding and then send us beautiful pictures from your yes. professional photographer of you using these at the wedding and I don't know, we'll give Can you, you something. We'll as send Han you and Leia. We'll send you a beautiful wedding gift if you do that for us cuz I want to see that. Yes. If you use these at your wedding, yes. let us know. Um, you ready to pick some winners? Yes, although did we get to this shirt under here? We can, absolutely. Let's just really quickly show that. It's a really awesome, I want to call it like a business casual kind of shirt. It's got a motif that includes uh, at-ats and the rebel star bird symbol and then a Millennium Falcon and a TIE fighter and an X-Wing. You just it's read, got, the, yeah, that's a got lot. everything that you could possibly want, whether you're rebel scum or an Empire supporter. Mm -hmm. This shirt is for you. I just really like it. I don't know. Something about it just really speaks to me. The pattern is perfect. Um, yes, and forgive our bad sort of styling here. Mm -hmm. I don't know that these go together. I can't make a statement on that. I think they're fine. You think I did a good job? I think you did All a great right, job. Fine. I like it. I certainly like it with the brown more than I would like it with this bold green. Yeah. Uh, we also have a really cool um, hoodie that's more on the casual side. We've had a lot of like business formal and business casual, but if you're looking for something to just hang around the Millennium Falcon in, we have a really awesome short sleeve hoodie uh, that we released today. It's on the website, along with some other more casual things like lounge pants and lounge shorts. And underwear, which I didn't want to talk about. <laughs> Those are all on thinkgeek.com. We released them in honor of May the 4th, so they're brand new. Jump on them. Have them in time for the solo premiere on the 25th. Uh, yeah, they all, right. all seem good. And just uh, FYI, the uh, dish sets, they come sort of separate, but they come in sets of four. So, like, mm -hmm. you'll get four of the dinner plates and then four of the salad plates and then the glasses and stuff as well. Exactly. It's all on the product pages. Just click through. All right, winners? Winners. It's time for winners. Also, I want to see what people answered. The question that we asked in the contest was... What is your favorite Star Wars droid? And I just want to tell you about my thoughts because I Please. feel very passionately that K2SO is the best droid. Okay, yeah. Um, he is sassy. Mm -hmm. He will protect you. Mm -hmm. He's clearly loyal in some capacity. Maybe not sure. to you, but certainly to the captain of his ship. And I just love his sassy interjection so much. All right, it looks like we have some winners. Yes. All right, first winner we have is Ryan S. Yeah, Ryan S. Congrats. You're going to go home? You're, well, you're not. I'm going to send to you uh, a set of these beautiful fighting droids. Look at Bianca that. hasn't even kissed him or anything. Well, now you remind me. I know. She forgot. Look at what you've done now. <laughs> Look at what you've done now. Um, and Ryan says that <laughs> Ryan's favorite droid is R2-D2. A classic choice. Bianca classic. would say objectively incorrect, but I say great choice. Look, it's a good choice. Like, I'm not going to knock yeah. you for your choice. However, you're just wrong. <laughs> okay, what's our second winner? Our second winner is Christopher H. Uh, congratulations, Christopher H. Droids for you. Who also chose R2-D2. Very popular choice. <laughs> We're actually running a poll on our other social channels on whether you prefer R2-D2 or BB-8 as your astromech co-pilot. So far, R2-D2 crushing it. What I expected. r 2 d sassy. BB, it's like a baby. He's got some growing up to do. I, I just, I <laughs> like that new, that young blood that BB-8 brings to the series. So I'm going to have to go with BB-8 there. But K2SO, clearly the best co-pilot. Let us know what your favorite droid is. Yeah. I know that you answered it um, in the contest, but go ahead and let us know in the comments. I feel very passionately that it's K2SO. Let me know your passionate arguments, and then I'll tell you, sorry, it's K2SO and you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we, it, I'm looking now at what people said. A lot of people said BB-8, lots of R2-D2s. I see a couple, see 3 po I see one K2SO. And one K2SO. Yes, you. I see you. We see I you. I see you. 
Um, congrats to the winners. Thank you so much for joining in with us and geeking out a yes. little bit about Star Wars Day. We hope you have an excellent Star Wars Day. <laughs> we know that the Force is with you and also with you. And also, also with you. With you. Uh, have a happy Star Wars Day. We'll see you next week. And thanks for stopping by. Hey, we appreciate your time with us. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>